What's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Blue Fox Tracker, which is the new companion app specifically built for my new airsoft game production company, Desert Fox Airsoft Events. Now, as of the filming of this video, the Blue Fox Tracker is still in a beta status. What that means is that everything that's talked about in this video will most likely change and evolve. Now, first I wanna talk about the need for the Blue Fox Tracker. The number one problem at most airsoft games is the dissemination of information from the game admin, to the commander, to the platoon leaders, to the squad leaders, down to the riflemen. Now most of the time this is conducted through radios and can take a very long time. With the Blue Fox Tracker, everyone using the app will instantaneously receive information about the game in real time. So what exactly does the Blue Fox Tracker do? Well, it does several things. Number one, it tracks your position, your squad mate's position, and everyone else on your team. Number two, it is a regulated, quantifiable way to score points within an airsoft game. And lastly, it's a direct line of communication from admin to all the players and from commanders to all his subordinates. Now that we have basic info on what the app is and what it does, let's go over it screen by screen. Now the first screen you'll see on the Blue Fox Tracker is going to be the home screen. Here, where it says iPhone, this will actually be your profile name. Then you have the profile button, under that, enter match, and then of course, log out. When you click on your profile name, that will bring you to your basic profile. Again, this screen will be changed in later updates to the app. This screen will not only show how long you've been a member, your lifetime record, statistics such as point death ratio, and any other special accolades and operations you've participated in. This will be very similar to a video game profile. Next, we have the enter match button. After clicking that, you'll have a list of matches to join. Entering the match will take place on Friday afternoon during check-in for an event. As you can see, there will be the match title and the status. Upon check-in, you'll scan a QR code and the app will automatically put you into the correct team. Once in-game, it'll take you to this screen. Now this is the main screen for the app. On the left, we have our map of the AO. On the right, we have our profile box, which shows your name, status, and deaths. In later versions, this will probably also show your class and all of your squad mates. On the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a set of buttons. The hit button, the notifications button, stats button, chat, and map. The hit button is pretty self-explanatory. In the real world, you'll call hit so that way people will stop shooting you. You'll then go to your app and hit the hit button. Upon hitting the hit button, you'll be given a prompt to confirm your hit. Have you been hit? Yes or no? If you have been hit, you'll hit yes, and your status in your profile area will change from alive to wounded. Once your status has been set to wounded, the app will alert medics nearby. Your icon on the map will change from a player to a medic symbol, alerting medics that you need to be revived. If a medic does eventually get to your position, all he has to do is stand within a certain radius of the wounded player, and the app, through proximity, will automatically heal the wounded player and then score points for the medic. Once that happens, your status will change from wounded back to alive. Unfortunately, what I can't show you yet is the scoring. When we had this beta test at AirsoftCon, the scoring was not put into the game. But note that in future versions of the app, the scoring will be in place. Calling hit will score you points for sportsmanship. Reviving players will score you points for just, you know, being a medic and doing your job. Moving to waypoints, which we'll get into in a little bit, will also score you points for following orders. The next button is notifs, or notifications. In this box, leadership and admin can issue orders or give you game alerts. For example, the task force commander or ground force commander may order squad one to attack alpha, squad two to attack bravo, and squad three to move to a waypoint north of Charlie. From an admin standpoint, we can call a ceasefire or pause the game with notifications. Now this brings us back to the problem of dissemination of information in airsoft. Not a lot of airsofters unfortunately can read a map. With the app, leadership can now set a waypoint on the map. Players can then use the app to find the waypoint. Now no matter where you are in the AO, you will be able to see the waypoint set by leadership for your squad. Let's say your squad of eight guys is spread all across the AO. Four of you are together, two of you are back at the FOB, and the other two are in the parking lot. Using that waypoint, you now can all see exactly where you need to go to meet back up with one another. As I said previously, once you make it to the waypoint, you will score points for following orders. This encourages team play and also helps keep your unit together so you can all continue to have fun playing as a squad. Next to notifs, we have stats. The stats tab is basically the scoreboard for the game. 
On the stats page, it'll have the team name, player names, Later on, it'll show points, their status, and their deaths. Also later on in the game, this will probably also depict what class they are. Next to the stats button is the chat button. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can select on a player and chat with them inside the app. And lastly, we have the map tab, which will basically just bring you back to the map screen. Currently on the map, you see these icons that look like houses. Those icons, as of right now, represent capture zones. Capture zones basically work like conquest points. They'll have a certain radius in which players will stand in to capture the point. The capture zone will be denoted on the map so you can see exactly where it ends and starts. Once you enter into a capture zone, you automatically start capturing the point through the app. If an enemy enters the same capture zone, the capture will stop. However, if another friendly player enters the capture zone, the cap will resume in favor of your team. Basically, whatever team outnumbers the other team in the capture zone will win the capture. Once the capture is complete, you and your team will score points. One question you might be asking yourself right now is, how much is this gonna cost me? Absolutely nothing. The app will be completely free to download. In fact, in the next version of the app, we hope that our spectator mode will be available. In spectator mode, a map and a chat box will be on the screen and you'll be able to see every single person on the playing field. Now, to alleviate any kind of cheating, there will be a one hour delay on the feed. Along with the map, you'll also get a chat box to chat with other spectators. Now, let's say you don't want to use your mobile device or tablet out on the field. That's perfectly fine. At Desert Fox events, we will have other methods of you playing the game without any sort of device. That's going to wrap up this explanation of the current status of the Blue Fox Tracker. I'll be making more of these videos as the app is updated. For more information about Desert Fox events and the Blue Fox Tracker, visit our website, desertfoxevents.com, or check us out on Facebook. Links in the description below, and text across the screen. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field.